Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a dramatic Valentine's Day look. So first, I'm going to start off by moisturizing my face with the Cetaphil moisturizer. And I'm just applying this all over my face. So next, I'm going to be doing my eyebrows. And I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Sand and the Anastasia Brow Dip in Chocolate. So I'm not going to really be talking throughout this part because I want to make a eyebrow tutorial. Now that I'm done with my eyebrows, I'm going to be priming my eyes with the same concealer I used before. And I'm going to be using the concealer wet so the eyeshadows will look more pigmented. And I'm going to be using these stickers from the Bando sticker book issue number 4 and I'm using the heart shaped ones. So at the end when we peel the stickers off, it's going to give that negative space effect. Now I'm going to get started on the eyeshadow and I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Texture Shadow Palette, the Rose Gold Edition. So first you're going to want to take that flamingo shade and I'm just going to pat it on my crease and over the stickers as well. So doing patting motions at first helps build up the pigment instead of doing swiping motions that will make the eyeshadow blend. You also want to make sure that when you're patting in the color onto the sticker, that you're not being rough so the sticker won't fall off. Now I'm gonna take Bossy and Man Eater and I'm gonna be using a smaller fluffy brush to concentrate the color only on my crease. So while I apply this color, I am using swiping motions or window wiping motions or left to right motions. <laughs> So I do this now because I want the colors to be blended and I also go back with the other brush I was using to further blend the eyeshadows. And now I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Sand again and I'm just gonna do a cut crease and the way I do this is that I first make the shape and then I just fill in the rest. With my finger, I'm just going to pat at the edge of the cut crease and then I'm going to add Man Eater and just pat it with that large fluffy brush. I'm going to be using this tiny brush and taking Angelic and just patting that into the lid. So after I finish applying this color onto the lid, I do go back with the same fluffy brush that I was using before just to make sure that none of that pigment was lost. Here I'm just making a line with that concealer to create like a guide for the glitter eyeliner that we're gonna be doing soon. And to do that I'm gonna be using this RK by Kiss Star Crush Face and Body Glitter in Copper and the Ardell Clear Lash Glue. And now I'm going in with the lash glue and I'm just applying it around the cut crease and then I'm gonna start patting in the glitter. For the glitter liner, I'm just gonna do like a regular eyeliner but with the lash glue and then on top of it, I'm just gonna pat the glitter. So at this point I have a lot of glitter all over my face and I'm just using the sticky side of a piece of tape. Here I'm showing you all that this really does work. <laughs> and now it's time to peel the sticker which is the most exciting part of this look I think. And it looks so cool. I was so shook. 
If you do this look, please make sure that you tag me on Instagram. So here I'm just getting started on my face and I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer and the foundation in 260. And I'm just applying it with a beauty blender. Using the Fit Me Concealer, I'm going to apply it under my eyes and anywhere else that I think that I might need more coverage. So I don't do this to highlight, I do this for more coverage. Now I'm going to set my face using the Airspun Loose Face Powder in Naturally Neutral. And I'm using a fluffy face brush. And now I'm going to bake underneath my eyes and I also bake underneath my contour but I do that after I apply it. And I'm going to be using the contour shade and the blush and the highlight from the Tarte Clay Play Volume 2. So first I like to bronze with a fluffier angled brush and then I like to use a smaller brush to contour. And now I'm baking underneath my contour and I like to take the powder kind of around my cheek and this makes my face look a little bit rounder. If you kind of have like a really round face and you kind of want to make it look longer then you would want to just make a straight line. So here I'm going to take Maneater and Bossy and I was going to show y'all but I was like it's okay I can just tell them. And I'm just applying this underneath my eye and I left the setting powder on so that if there's fallout you can just dust it off. Now I'm going to apply that Tarte Desert blush and after this I'm just going to dust off any powder that I still have. Now I'm going to be using this L'Oreal Gel Liner and Espresso and I'm just going to put it on my waterline. I think that these brown colors on your eyes really make any eye color stand out. After this, I'm going to curl my eyelashes, apply mascara, and put my eyelashes off camera. And here I'm using the MAC Fix Plus Setting Spray and then I like to kind of tap it in with my beauty blender because I feel sometimes it leaves like little specks that dry up and it doesn't look good. I'm applying the Tarte highlight in timber and I'm just applying it on the high points of my face. And on my lips, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in Trendsetter. center of my lips I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in Dulce and to blend it in I'm just gonna be using my finger so this is the final look I hope you all liked it please make sure you like comment and subscribe and make sure you have your post notification on so you can see every time I upload leave me suggestions on what my next video should be and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!